Great Florida pet bug experts here in Dade City, Florida. As you can see, we've just begun the, the treatment process. If you look carefully, you'll see bed bugs already dying. The temperature right now, if you can see that, 111 degrees. Bed bugs are heat stressed. You can see them throughout the entirety of the bed. Some right here, a few right here. Uh, customer found these bugs after a trip. There's one right there, watch it run. The temperature right where that bed bug is is 114 degrees. You can see them starting to become heat stressed. You can see them right acting quite lethargic. They purchased a mattress from a, from a company. And now they're going to get rid of this mattress. There's no real signs of damage, but just for safety, they don't like it, so they're going to get rid of it. Uh, we're going to treat the entire area where we see infestation. Here's another bug right down here. You can see it moving. Uh, we found some over here on the windowsill. So if you look over here, here's the windowsill. Check this out. Right here, you can see a bed bug. And right where he's at, you can see the temperature gauge, 113.5. Bed bugs begin to become heat stress at about 100 to 108 degrees. At 118 degrees, they'll start to uh, dry up and die, dehydrate. Obviously this room, we want to get it as hot as we possibly can to get the majority of everything we've got and get a complete kill. Uh, you can see we're coming in through a second floor window. Uh, they are in the master bedroom. We've got milk crates underneath the, uh, the mattress to circulate here. Here's more bugs that have died. In just a matter of moments, we have started the treatment about 10 minutes. There's another bed bug right there. So you can see it moving. Now this is a smaller bed bug, so it's kind of a nymph, so you can see it there, there you go. And as I bring my finger to it, you'll see it try to move. And it has already died. Remnants of a bed bug. Now what's happening is right now, because the heat is so hot, you can see other bed bugs like right here. See them moving, quickly dying, 112 degrees. You can see it moving. These are how small they are, folks. As I pull it from the bed, you can see how difficult it is to see them. Right here. So as I zoom back in, he has now fallen here. As I zoom in, you'll see he's dying. Along with this guy here, this guy here. So they have a pretty decent size infestation. You can see right here there's one moving, here moving. They're kind of all over the place. They're on the walls right now, right here, uh, right here, right here, right here on the baseboards. So right now I'm just getting started. We are sitting at ambient air temperature. Right now as we sit, 114 degrees in this area that we're sitting in right here. 136 right there, but that's just where the air is coming in. So we look at the wall, the wall says 102.5. This wall is 103.5. And then we still have to go all the way back there where it's still 93. Got a fan right here pushing the air through, so. It's 99 right here in the hallway as a closet. The closet as of right now is only 84 degrees, but that's gonna change really quickly. So we're just getting started. Got an air temperature sensor over here in the back where the cool spots are. We got an air temperature sensor underneath the bed to make sure we get a proper kill temperature between the bed and the mattress. As you can see, we have airflow underneath the mattress as well as underneath the box ring and in between with milk crates. Uh, it's about 116 where I'm standing right now. It's going to get really hot. So we'll check back with you guys in a few minutes. Uh, it is about 10, 15 in the morning. We'll be back in about a half hour. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much.